All right, path number six. Number six. The number that everybody just can't go. Oh, six. You get to row Illuminati. And don't you be going all freaking out like, oh my god, Illuminati. Uh. It actually means illuminated light. Wow, that's a good way to kick, to kick this off. Just smack the cards out of my hand. Okay. So, light path number six with the Illuminati. Oh, so creepy being illuminated. You're not going to get exposed. Calm down. And just like the other ones, whatever comes out, comes out. Okay, well, so we're going to just start with it because just throwing cards with me. Every, every number gets the same reading of basic cross, and I call out what I see. Don't like it. Oh, well, too bad. If it resonates with you, good. Woo, I'm magical and psychic. But kicking off, we have the Five of Pentacles. Seems like your current position seems to be you being left out in the cold or someone else being left out in the cold. And you're feeling like, I have feelings too. But on the bright side of these, and this is why I like the Five Pentacles, despite being in that horrible environment, you have somebody with you that's sticking to it with you. So... Right now, it may not be the best of times, but there is someone or there is a being, give me spiritual, that is at your side, standing by you through thick and thin. And I don't do zodiac sign based on whatever, because I don't. I want to be different. I don't want to be like everybody else. Uh, zodiac sign this. No. I'm an Aquarius Moon, an Aquarius Rising, with an Aquarius Retrograde Saturn, and an Aquarius Lilith. I do what I please, and I don't want to be like every other white sheep. Sorry. I'm not a white sheep. I'm a cotton candy rainbow sheep. You're encountering or being challenged by temperance. So... Your current position of being left down the cold, don't mind me doing this real quick, okay, there we go, is being challenged between two cups trying to find an emotional balance and emotional stability. Possibly the being that is helping you or you're standing by during this hot mess of a, oh no, what's going on, is testing your patience and you're trying to find an equilibrium with your challenge, with your with your challenging position, you're trying to keep your cool, you're trying not to go a table flip. But also you could be trying to mix what they're trying what they're thinking and their suggestions and their ideas because temperance being the card of Sagittarius is also known as the alchemist. Taking a little bit over here and taking a little bit over there, smacking it together, and then you get your own unique Pokemon, whatever the heck came out of that. It's always good. It's always good to have other viewpoints, but not to actually make it be what your decision is. Be your own individual. Be your own thought. S express your needs and wants. Don't let anybody say you can't do it because you have the right to. <sighs> What's causing this hot mess of being out in the cold is a six of wands. Probably this is what I'm getting from this. The reason why possibly feeling out left out in the cold is because you're trying to share a victory. And you're trying and the other person's trying to express, hey, I played a part in this too, man. How come I guess can't get some credit? And you're probably in the moment of thinking, if I give him some of the credit, I'm not gonna be the one being all uh, notice me, senpai, please. Don't think like that. That's dumb. But, or possibly you both were celebrated and you had a very great victory, but now since the, you know, the Final Fantasy battle song track, do 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 is not playing anymore, and now you gotta get back to, back to reality and whatever you were doing. I mean, heck, another wrong with being victorious and, you know, throwing, I don't know, Throwing pom poms in the air and having old man Saturn, you know, put on put on a cheerleader outfit and saying good job, 
Good job, Timmy. Oh, now give me a sponge bath. Hey, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a victory if you want it, but you gotta understand just because you win something doesn't mean you have to keep in mind that you have a physical life to live. <laughs> What's behind you, or what is backing you up, or what you have triumphed over, or have critically failed with, is... Oh, that's sweet. The Two of Cups. So you probably, with this Five of Pentacles, in the past there must have been something very sweet that was said. And now both of you are going through this very troubling time right now, and having Temperance be there, you're probably working really well together, working as a unit, as... Instead of working as two, you're working as one, and I believe that is just gorgeous. Makes me tear up, actually, David, to even think about it like that. That's a joke. Calm down. But, yeah. Having that victory of possibly finally getting this person to finally be like, Look, babe, give me a chance. You know you want to. Oh, fine. Have me. And probably that was your vic victory fanfare or whatever. But now things are starting to get on their... Mm hard step because five of pentacles being left down in the cold now possibly you or the other party or maybe you both are feeling like this was not what I had in mind with the two of cups energy I thought it was gonna be nice but this like we're out here you know about to kick the bucket because of the freezing cold or maybe you both were living in a place just happy doing it and then someone decided to be like hey guess what eviction notice if that's the case, uh, you better double check and make sure they're doing it legally. Because regardless if it's a private owner or a or done by a realtor, guess what? Tenant laws. They apply to every single one of them. Every single one has to abide by the tenant law. Doesn't matter. I don't care if it's Dick Cheney renting to you. I don't care if it's Mr. Trump renting to you. I don't care who it is. They have to follow the law of renting to a tenant, and they have to abide by it. They don't get they don't get any corner cuts. Is either they do it how they're supposed to, or they get in deep. So, just double check your housing situation if that's the case. And remember, there is. Oh, okay, we have a card. Go on. Oh, this deck's been jumpy lately. But ultimately, no matter what, though, whenever in a legal situation, you have every right to, to nitpick. Nitpick the living heck out of them. If it's something in the contract that says they can't do it, nitpick it. Keep nitpicking it, saying, no, 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 no. Nitpick. Keep having them, keep pushing them in the corner where they have to admit they've made a big mistake, and now they have to pay the consequence of their stupidity. There's no nothing in the rule book says you can't do it, so have at it. If anything, you're kind of, you know, helping them out by hitting them, hitting them upside the head with some logic. I mean, that's just my opinion. What's above you or what's crowning you or what would you like to have happen is... The King of Cups. So, what you're hoping for, or what's crowning you, is that you're wanting to have a... A deep understanding, but also a practical and like a very devoted, committed, but also practical caretaking and understanding companionship with, with someone. Like connect to someone and understanding and be able to, no matter what happens, go to them with anything. Good, bad, don't matter. You can go up to them and say, hey, I have a problem. There's something wrong that needs to be fixed. Or just being honest, saying I'm not happy. And regardless of what it is, if they're not happy, if you care about them, listen to them. Best thing you can do for someone that's not happy and you are made the choice to vote for them is to sit and listen to every little thing that they say. And, and also encourage them to say stuff that might hurt you. Because if you cannot have that openness of saying, hey, I'm not happy because of you doing this, and I, 
it really bothers me. Knowing how much that hurts you, you should be able to take that and think, you know, this person's right about me not being however the heck is bothering them. Take it and then ask them, what can I do to correct it? Because, heck, going towards someone with that two of cups, you got to be able to understand that you got to be able to take it and then ask them for help. There is nothing ever wrong with asking for help. Don't think, oh, I can't ask for help. I'm a big macho man or whatever the crap. No, that just shows that you're egotistic. You don't care what other people think and you're trying to inflate yourself by going like, I'm buff. I don't need no help from no one. No. And besides, if you're new here, that's how I, that's how I do my humor. Kind of slapstick. And no, I don't really hurt myself that bad. <laughs> Get rid of it. But you're hoping for being able to master a union ship. Be able to understand, give and take, and be completely open and truthful. What's coming right for your face or, or what's coming right at you or what's going to be coming towards you momentarily. We have... We have the hung man. Or the hang man. Well, what I'm getting out of this, because of the current situation, the whole energy is going to feel stuck, and you're, you and this other person are going to be in a position where, well, right now we're stuck here. Now what do we do? Well, with the hangman, you may notice that he's like, oh, I'm hanging upside down. Well, I'm going to make the most of it. You notice what he's doing with his leg, making an L shape? That's a sign to actually take a look at the situation you're in and make the most of it. But also, when you flip it upside down, you know, he's seeing through a different perspective. So possibly right now, a good idea, what's going to be coming towards you, is a time where things are going to be put to a halt. But it's a fantastic opportunity to take a look at the situation and look at it in a new perspective. Get intrigued by it and have a light bulb go off and think, huh, I never could have thought about that. But involve that person from the Two of Cups. Involve them. Involve them. Nothing's more... Nothing makes someone feel more valuable when someone goes, hey, there's something that I came across that involves both of us, and I want your help with it. Heck, if people do that modern, do that nowadays, be like, oh my gosh, wow, he's like, he's like the love guru, but you know, I'm not Mike Myers. <laughs> how you're perceiving yourself, or how you're viewing yourself in this current situation, we have. That one. Come on, milkshake. You're seeing yourself the nine of nine of wands. Okay. You're seeing yourself as you're heavily guarded or you're heavily trying to protect something. Not every, not everything has to be overly protected. And understand that you cannot once sometime something about you is gonna get let let out. It it'll all come out eventually. So, best thing to do, just own it. Good, bad, don't matter. Say, yep, that's a part of me. Mm-hmm, that's true. What of it? And if you're able to go at it like that, with a sense of, I don't care. What, I made, I made that mistake, so what? What about it? What's your point? What are you trying to get at? That's how you really do, do the nine of wands of protecting yourself. Not like trying to protect something that's concealed and, shh, we need to worry about this because it'd be a hot mess. If there was a wrong that you did in the past that involves someone or involves this person with the Two of Cups or anything of that matter, accept it, acknowledge it, and admit that you learned the lesson and you'll do your best to not do it again. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, a two to two to two. Now, how outside influence is seeing you. For you, I'm going to pull two. I'm going to pull for the person that's the Two of Cups and also every, everything else. Okay, we'll have this one be that one. Okay, put that one off to the side. That one will be the one that is the two of cups person. And the other will be everybody else in this, you know, rock. 
Well, no, that is just creepy. That is just a freaky deaky. Okay, so the Two of Cups person sees you as the High Priestess, and everybody else sees you as the Alchemist. What? How does that happen? So, um, okay, about this, so. Okay. I, I have not had this happen before, so hold my beer. Watch this. So we have the High Priestess is how the Two of Cups person is seeing you, and everybody else is seeing you as the Alchemist. So pretty much... The Two of Cups person is seeing you as someone who is very intelligent, very wise, a phenomenal advisor, doesn't speak much and doesn't like to waste words, but knows what he, she, you are talking about. Everybody else, on the other hand, sees you as someone who is heavily in invested in whatever craft that they deem that you deem fit. And you invest all your time trying to improve it and build a life of your own. So in other words, you put those two together, you have the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine right there. So, you're being viewed as not bad. But still. Wow, never thought that would happen, but I guess it did. What you're hoping for, you're fearing for... We're just going to keep it with just one for this one because I'm afraid if I try and do something else, you'll be like, oh boy. You're hoping for Seven of Cups or fearing Seven of Cups. You're fearing that. Ugh. You're fearing, oh my gosh, I don't know which one to pick. I don't even know which one's the real one. But here's the reality all of them are the right cup. The one you choose is the right cup. Pick the right cup, which is the one that you choose. Not what this other person wants, but you want. But you're also fearing that if you choose the wrong cup, which you can't because the one you choose is the real one and the others are illusions, that something catastrophic is going to happen. But no, that, that, that's not how it's going to do. And uh, your outcome is going to be... I'll go with this one. Come on. Your outcome... Ooh, that's sweet. Three of Pentacles. So your likely outcome is this partnership is going to work together and it's going to be building on something that can be appraised and is a great foundation for an investment of some kind. You're going to lay out the rules, the contracts. You're going to lay out and communicate openly, which is a key thing when interacting with someone. And I can tell you right now, this reading is majestic. And I'm getting input to say, okay, pull a pull a uh, advice card. Okay, I'll pull one. And your advice card is... I love this card. The Queen of Sass or the Queen of Swords. So your advice, so your advice for for the rest of July is be the Queen of Sass or the Queen of Swords. Why do I call her the Queen of Sass? Because she ain't having no BS. Because she will shank you and say, "Kid, you stupid. Now do what you're supposed to do and do it right." Yeah, she she doesn't put up with stupidity. So for your advice is that speak your truth and if someone gets in your way, whack them. Well, not literally whack them one, but let them know that, hey, listen, kid, I know what I want. I know where I need to go. And if you're just going to be in my way, well, off with your head. Because, yeah, if you can tell Shane got time for that stupidity. But other than that, July looks pretty good for you, number six. But then again, the number six is... The number that everybody's like, oh, number six. I love number six. I mean, under two, because it's actually my number reversed. Well, there's your reading, number six. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys here for number six for next month in a while.